Hello friends! Today we continue the Garden Gate series by working on the door. Stay tuned! Alright, so to begin I went and I saw the arch. I looked out in the garden and I re-got my measurements and I realized that it was 17 inches for the radius from the center point of what I wanted the circle to be. If you haven't watched the video on me building the arch, you can check this card and you can check out the link in the description. So I started by going into my basement and plugging in my table saw. I keep my extension cord on the ceiling so I don't trip over things. Um, but I had seven one by six by eight pine boards and I cut them down to just under five inches each. Next I went to the router and I put a quarter inch route over everything. Um, when the boards line up you see this kind of pattern, like a heart almost, coming into it. I did that with every single board. Here we are laying it out. You can see how the boards look side by side. I didn't cut them to length yet because I'm going to cut in an arch. But I had some spare wood. These are some uh, old, I think, shelves that I scavenged once upon a time. They're solid plywood. Those will be perfect for the curves. And then I had uh, a big piece of cedar, which I'm going to use for the diagonal piece. And these boards with the blue paint, um, those are actually from an old shelf that I ripped down four years ago when we first moved into the house. So it's nice to finally scavenge the wood and the material. Uh, here we get to use the great big compass again and put that curve in and let me tell you it was so much easier to cut out the curve on a quarter piece of wood as it was my two two by materials put together. I would highly recommend this laminating technique if you were starting with the arch. Had I to do it again I would have done something similar. And it's so easy to trace the pattern onto the other backboard and then onto the wood when we get there in a second. Okay, so using those boards that we just cut to length before, I think it was 44 inches and 34 inches, you can see what the frame essentially looks like. Um, the three inch piece on the bottom and the sides and then the curved piece up top and the angle. The angle piece is just under three inches. So first I'm screwing them all together to give it some rigidity so I can lift it up onto the table and cut my curve out, but I'm going to glue it up momentarily. Here you can see my method for actually cutting out the boards. Um, I've I drill the hole into the pine pieces and then I just cut using the existing 2x4 plywood piece as my guide and it worked really, really well. The next morning uh, I went outside and I disassembled those boards that I screwed in one by one. I glued them and then I put them back in, being sure to drive my screws in deeper because I'm going to um, go back with putty. And the putty works great, especially in the sun. It dries so quickly and then you can sand it off and paint it and you never know what's there. Here's that paint, it's called Dahlia, not Delilah like I said in the last video, but there's the official Sherwin-William information if you want to buy it yourself, it looks like that. And well, this wouldn't be complete without a paint time lapse and it is so satisfying uh, watching those putty um, marks just get covered right up after it dried, you never saw them again. Um, and you can see that the different colors of wood all you know blunt together when you had paint on it. I ended up doing two coats. The hardware was pretty straightforward. I ended up just getting two decorative hinges and a simple latch out of black from my local Kits and File Ace True Value hardware store. Um, it was a little difficult to mount. Uh, if I had to do it again, I would have asked for a friend to hold the door while I was putting it up there, but you can see it turned out just fine. I am so pleased with that great circle in the middle to look through. It's, it's my own moon gate. Uh, it's, it's very good. It's nice and sturdy. When you shut the door, it barely wobbles because I got it anchored in there nice. So I'm pleased, thanks to my patrons for making this possible, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Part three is going to be the pergola up top. See you next time.
Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe right away and hit that notification bell so you never miss another Midwest Man Mountain video. If you like this, you'll like either of these. And thanks to my Patreons for making things possible. Until next time, bye!